Okay, so in the last episode we made our grid working fine. So here it looks like this. Okay, so let's make uh, some changes like we are going to click on the uh, this cells so let's make that working so basically we want to implement an on click listener and we want to implement that method as well and when we click we want to uh, send information to our game engine and we want a click method with uh, two positions get position dot x and get position y so basically in here in the game engine we want a public void click with uh, two integer um, pause x and int pause y and um, what is so what is this going to do is um, basically um, going through all the available buttons and click them so first check if the position we have is within the range we have so x oh let's call this x for simplicity and this is y so x is greater equal than zero and y is greater equal than zero and x is smaller than width and y is smaller than height and um, get cell at x and y which I'm going to make so public view wait a minute okay so get cell at um, at and this is going to get two positions int y and um, this is just going to return the minesweeper grid x and y values so this um, dot is click Let's sell at is returning with a view. Okay, so this is going to return with a cell and uh, this also. So that way we can call is clicked. And if it's not clicked, then we can click on it and set it x and y dot set clicked. Um, the next thing is what I am going to do is check the the neighbors if they are clickable and if they have the neighbor of zero then we will click it so if get cell at x and y dot get value is equal to zero so basically what we pressed is uh, not a bomb and not doesn't have any neighbor with uh, a bomb in it then we start the four cycle let's call this xt equals minus one xt is smaller than one and xt plus plus 
and make this for y y smaller equals 1 and yt plus plus um, this is yt if xt is not equal to yt then we click x plus xt and y plus yt um, and in here we also want get cell at x and y dot is bomb then we will call on game lost okay let's make that method this is going to be a private void on game lost and do nothing there just comment handle uh, lost game okay for now it is going to work but uh, we will see nothing because we only draw buttons so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to copy um, from the other project I have all the needed uh, images to the derivable folder and uh, I have a bomb I have uh, numbers so okay so here I'm going to copy this to up here and I'm going to create a private void draw number and this is going to get a canvas canvas and I'm going to create a drawable null and we want to make a switch statement which is going to decide if um, it's a zero it's a one it's a two it's whatever number it is so switch get value case zero and break and I'm going to copy this okay and this is going to be one two three four five six seven and eight and we are going to make drawable equals context compat dot get drawable get context like the we did before just with uh, number zero and I'm going to copy this few times and this is going to be number one number two number three number four five six uh, seven and eight and we also just want to get the bound bounds and draw it uh, and also I'm going to draw the bombs out bomb and this is going to be a bomb normal so here we are going to make a um, quite um, difficult uh, if statement so this is going to be if is flagged we want to draw a flag as if it is revealed and is bomb and 
not is clicked we want draw normal bomb canvas canvas here also as if is clicked if get value equals to minus one then draw bomb exploded canvas as draw number and here as just throw button canvas so basically what this does is um, it checks if this is flagged if it's flagged we um, we draw a flag there if not flagged but not clicked but um, we pressed on somewhere else on a bomb then we draw all the bombs and we show them as if we clicked something and it's uh, a bomb then we draw uh, uh, an exploded bomb as if it's not a bomb then we draw a number and as if we didn't press that button we draw the button so let's make that um, functions first of all I'm going to copy a flag uh, a bomb exploded what do I need and uh, and that's it okay so copy it paste it in here and make the function so private void draw flag needs a canvas canvas um, and just do the same as we did here actually I could make a, a function for this uh, that would be much easier but never mind um, okay so as you can see here it's a flag it's not red anymore um, here I need I made this throw normal bomb and we also need a draw bomb exploded and this is going to be a bomb exploded okay so as I can see we when we call the set clicked method um, are we evaluating uh, base uh, set clicked yeah we are evaluating so basically we are good to go I hope so cannot find variable it's here Okay, do this one more time. Index, index of my files, please. Launching activity, okay. Okay, so this is not going to work because I know, now I know what I'm doing. So we need to set the on click listener. So set on click listener this and um, now it is a bomb basically now I don't have any um, restart function so I'm going to just restart it like this so this is one and as you can see 
this is how it is working and we don't implemented the long press so let's do that so set on long click listener this and on long no on long click no this is not what I want uh, view dot on long click listener and implement on long click I'm going to copy it up here and return it to true and I'm going to call game engine dot get instance dot flag and this is going to get the X position and get Y position and let's do in here so we need a void flag with two integer and basically what we are going to do here is just make a bool because I'm going to um, check if it's flagged be before if it's flagged we are going to deflag it or how can I say so bully, bully n is flagged is equal to game engine dot get instance dot why am I doing this just call get cell at and position Um, x and y dot is flagged and get cell at x and y dot set flagged not f is flagged so basically we are flagging deflagging flagging deflagging so this is how it works and we need a uh, get cell at position x and y dot invalidate so this way we are checking if it's flagged if it's flagged we are deflagging if not we are no not debugging oh first close okay close it all all of them okay start it I don't need this console or the debugger I need my own app I don't want to debug it okay where is uh, ah, Android monitor this is it okay build is running okay in the thing okay installing launching activity okay so as you can see it's working fine and if I press long press it it's flagging That was a glitch. I don't know what was that. If I press two buttons at once, it is doing very funny things. Okay, so I think that's it for now. Uh, I will continue as soon as I can. I hope you like this episode. We made finally some progress. If you like this video, please like it. If not, then dislike it. And please comment what game you wanna see me to do in the further videos.